I'm Jeremy Cowan, editor of Vanilla Plus, and we're here in Barcelona for the Mobile World Congress to talk to Agilent Technologies. Over the past year, we've all seen a massive increase in the amount of mobile data usage. But this is putting immense pressure on operators to deliver the quality of service that users have come to expect, not only in 3G, but in LTE networks too. So I'm going to talk to Carl Grabner, who is the Vice President of Worldwide Sales at Agilent Technologies. Carl, I guess we've all seen reports of massive increase in mobile data bandwidth consumption as users have come to rely on their smartphones more. What are operators telling you about the problems they're facing? Well, um, with the increased popularity of smartphones, fueled in particular with the success of the iPhone, uh, that's, the, that's the driver behind this massive growth uh, in data rates. So uh, some of the very large service providers continue to tell us that they continue to see uh, a doubling of their data rates every 18 months while their revenues associated with those services only increase by 20%. So basically what they see, there's a widening gap between uh, data rates and the required capacity on the network versus the associated revenues. So service providers have to cope with that widening gap, uh, increase network capacity, at the same time uh, increase the service quality for the users. Do you think the industry is really focused yet on the quality of service challenges that new mobile broadband services are bringing? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, for example, in mobile video uploads to social networking sites. Well, focus, yes, but uh, the problem is uh, quite difficult to, to solve. So, uh, for instance, different handsets might behave different uh, when accessing different services. So, for a service provider, it's very important to understand how a handset or a user uh, behaves when uh, accessing different services. And uh, first of all, you need to understand it, you need to be able to monitor and trace that, but at the same time, when a problem occurs, you need to be able to drill down very quickly to the root cause of the problem and eliminate that root cause and fix the problem before it becomes a real user experience issue for their customers. And in the last few days, Agilent have announced they've sold their network solutions business to JDSU, which came as something of a surprise. What can you tell us about the reasons for the sale and what do you know about JDSU's plans for the business? Yeah, so the HLN Network Solution divisions consists of three product lines. Drive test, uh, network protocol test product line and the service assurance product line. So HLN felt that uh, this business and its customers are better served by a company that's entirely focused on the communications industry. JDSU is a $1.3 billion company which focuses entirely on the communications infrastructure industry. We expect this acquisition to be very complementary. It further strengthens the position of JDSU in this uh, communications industry and in particular expands the position into the emerging markets like 4G and LTE. What is Agilent demonstrating here in Barcelona that will help the service providers achieve the quality of service levels required? Well, Agilent has started to work very early uh, with the LSTI initiative to help define together with the key industry leaders the requirements for end-to-end -end verification and testing of services across the uh, uh, LTE EPC network. Um, this started with early proof of concept uh, validation and testing and is now at the stage where uh, we work together with those key industry leaders on uh, defining the test requirements and providing tools uh, for the field trials which are now going on in the different parts of the world. We also started, of course, now to work with some of the major players in the industry to define the future requirements for LTE assurance once they are in the process of rolling out their networks and requiring those tools for managing the quality of service for the LTE networks. There are a growing number of customer experience management systems on the market now. What's different about Agilent's offering? Well, our service assurance monitoring solutions provide a unique capability to correlate control plane 
and detailed user plane information in one system. This is necessary to understand real user experience. Uh, for instance, uh, when users are browsing the web, to understand uh, if they, uh, what kind of download speeds they experience or if they're able to connect or not connect to the certain, uh, certain web, web service. In addition, our system architecture is unique in a way that it can scale to very high data volumes. Today, we are monitoring uh, the world's largest data networks and are able to scale to their requirements and to the requirements in the future. Why is it important to offer end-to-end -end systems, including drive tests, signal analysis, and service assurance? On the LTE networks, a lot of information uh, is not accessible on uh, interfaces uh, which you could tap uh, in uh, traditional 2G or 3G networks. So, uh, therefore, it's very important, especially for the uh, validation and troubleshooting phase, that you correlate uh, information on the air interface, on the UU interface, which contains some of the critical information, all the way back into the enhanced packet core. And that's the only way we are able to cope with issues like deciphering IPsec and so on as a force, and troubleshoot, analyze, and validate through service quality and user experience across the end-to-end -end network. Can you give us a demonstration of Agilent's offering in service assurance? Yeah, sure. We can uh, show you the integration between drive test and protocol test to provide end-to-end -end, uh, service quality troubleshooting and validation, as well as our mobile voice and mobile data service assurance products. Thanks. So Carl, during the interview, mentioned some solution from Network Solution Division, and we've got that actually on display at Mobile World Congress 2010. From drive test solution here, together with protocol analyzer, and service assurance solution. Our drive test solution is actually really key for the LT ecosystem as it does provide some of the air measurement that can provide some uh, key tests to the network operator to see how good the service they will provide on the network will be. And then we can integrate this data into the protocol analyzer to troubleshoot and see if the quality of experience is as good as the service provider is offering on the network. But actually, you've got much more to offer for the wireless industry. You've got a network. You've got some base station. You've got some cable you need to test on the field. You need to provide the right tool to the engineers. This is actually the uh, full portfolio of an help product we do provide to our customer with some integrated solution, including network analyzer, power meter, spectrum analyzer, and voltmeter. So actually, with this little walk around on our booth, you can see that Agilent Technologies for the wireless ecosystem is just a one-stop shot for test and measurement equipment.